Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, where today, this video, we're going to pull the engine out of this 78 El Camino Super Sport. Uh, it runs, it drives, it stops, but it doesn't run very good. The carburetor's dirty, needs to be rebuilt. It's got ticking over here, some blow-by and it's just and it's underpowered needs a four barrel intake uh so i got another engine that we're going to put in it that's supposedly been rebuilt before it was parked has a nettlebrock intake at a brock carburetor uh supposed to have been 350 heads 305 block not sure on that though I have nothing to verify any of this. We'll, we'll get to that later though. This video is going to be taking this engine out and cleaning all the engine bay and getting the new engine ready to put in. Okay, so this is for uh, the old timers that have done this a million times like me. You can just sit back and watch and uh, and uh, the uh, young whippersnappers that are just learning, uh, pay attention. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you start. But you need to jack up the back, undo the two U-joints, bolts from the drive shaft, pull it out. That's it for back there. And you come up to here, you undo the transmission mount, jack up the transmission a little bit, piece of wood and a little jack, and you undo the cross member and pull it out. Then you undo the exhaust uh, pipes that come up to the manifolds. Now uh, there's two or three bolts on each side. Undo them, drop the exhaust down. Okay, we're going to do something a little different here. This has got the factory catalytic converter on it. So what I'm going to do, that's coming off regardless. Uh, I'm going to chop that off. So we won't have the whole exhaust system. It'll be cut. This is like two into one. It comes in. Left and the right comes in, comes down, and comes out here. Uh, it looks like a fairly new, well, this thing's been sitting 20 years, but... Looks like it was done before it was uh, parked. So, I hate to do away with it, but it's just a single exhaust. We're going to put headers and dual exhaust on it. We'll see how much room is under there. May get an X pipe. But anyway, we'll, we'll do that later. The exhaust. Uh, you put the headers on after the engine's in slide them up so once this engine's out we're going to take the exhaust manifolds off stick the new engine in and then uh bolt up the headers and go from there that'll be later okay so undo the exhaust drop it down and uh and a couple little things like speedometer speedometer gear you unscrew that. I think that's about it, but I'm not sure. We'll find out when we're under there. Okay, so the top of the engine. Uh, we got to take out. We're going to take out the radiator and the shroud and the AC condensers behind here. So we're not going to worry about that too much. Uh, we got to take off this fan here. These four volts. Take them off push the fan slide it out okay this other stuff you can leave on there uh, the AC compressor we don't want to unhook everything on the AC uh, one line comes up here that's flexible you can pull it back but we got this line here we may be able to get that over here but if not, we're going to have to disconnect it at some point. 
Okay, so we want to take the compressor off. Uh, we can leave the brackets for now. Undo this bolt, this bolt, and then there should be, I think, one there, one on the back. And we'll pull that off. Like I said, we'll try to leave it connected. Uh, Dan, little stuff. Of course, unhook the very. Uh, the power steering. You can undo the power steering. These two bolts here. Or you can undo the brackets and leave the pump in the car. Leave it up over here. We may do that. That's... Since it's not leaking or nothing, at least I don't think it is. I don't know. I don't think it is. We're putting the same Chevy small block in here so all this stuff fits on the other engine. Okay, then disconnect the vacuum line. Uh. two motor mounts see this bolt here you got to get a socket on one side wrench on the other one there one on the other side and that's it the gas line would come down here with a fuel pump this one doesn't have it but we're just going to disconnect this fuel line that comes up here to the carburetor various vacuum lines you can mark them you know, who knows if any of this stuff's right anyway. Uh, and then the wiring. Well, here's your speedometer cable here. This one's all beat up. We'll see if the other one's better on the other car. Dis dis disconnect the throttle cable. Brake booster vacuum. And then we'll start on the uh, wiring. Oh, once you're underneath there doing the bottom stuff take off the starter and you have to take off the starter cables this is the positive here this is going to the starter and you got to take off two or three wires uh, two or three wires that you want to pull up through here they're going to be in here somewhere so you pull up the starter wires, undo the alternator right here. This one and then uh, whatever other ones, whatever other ones connect to the engine like the, uh, this little deal for the high, I think this for the high idle when the AC comes on. Your AC, here's a ground here, your positive here. Take them off. Uh, and you want to pull all the wiring over to the edge. Bundle it up so it doesn't get caught on nothing. Just kind of, I use uh, masking tape. Tape it off. You got to undo your engine grounds. Such as these here. Uh, that's just connected to the intake. You can take it off either the intake or here. Uh... cable here so once you disconnect it from the transmission that'll be fine there okay uh, here's your wiring harness here so you want to pull everything off oh connect uh, disconnect your distributor you don't have to do that one just this one here the other one would be the tack if you got it undo that and pull it out just like that and uh Put all the wiring over here. I usually put it all in un and put it underneath a wiper. Keep it out of the way. Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, so let me get a few things done and I'll just come back. Oh, then your hoses. You got your top, top and bottom radiator hoses. There's your bottom. And then your two uh, heater hoses. And I think that's about it. We're not going to be reusing these ones. I got new ones. 
probably eventually we'll get new uh, radiator hoses too. Okay, so I'll be back when I get some stuff accomplished, show you what I've done. Okay guys, show you what I got going so far. Had to undo these four bolts here, pull the fan and the shroud at once. Uh, it's filthy. Car's just been sitting for 20 years. Got all dirt daubers and crap. We're gonna leave the AC condenser in there, but this hose here is probably gonna be a problem. You're gonna need every inch here to get the motor out. This harmonic balancer is gonna be right here. Uh, we're probably gonna have to unhook these both right here and push them over to the side. So here's the fan, the shroud was broke. Hopefully the one on the other car is good. I already broke off a bunch of dirt daubers on there. That's a good uh, copper, non-plastic radiator. Uh, and the bubified heater hoses. Okay, so now I'm gonna take off uh, all these bolts here for the AC compressor and the power steering and uh, move the power steering to the side air compressor uh probably over here somewhere we'll see where it fits okay so i'm rolling along here and it's messy antifreeze transmission fluid from the radiator lines you're going to get a lot of transmission flu fluid from the back so don't uh if you're a neat freak, this, this ain't the job for you. Just embrace it. You're going to be filthy from head to toe. Okay. I'll be back when I get a little bit more done. Okay, guys. I un had to unhook the AC here at the condensers. I put some tape on there so no shit gets in. And then moved it over here. Okay, this is the line there and then this is the compressor uh, <coughs> no use disconnecting every friggin line <clears throat> okay then the power steering I just unhooked it and laid it here uh, that'll probably be okay there but I may unhook it um, I'm gonna give you a tip this vent line coming up to the evaporator don't ever plug that off don't put a cap on it my other El Camino I got uh, when I first got it from the guy who rebuilt the engine and did this uh, it vapor locked so it was like turn the engine over click 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 it was like it was seized or hydro locked and uh, I couldn't figure it out for a while and I finally took the spark plugs out turn the key and just blew it just blew gas everywhere so what it was doing was blocking the vent off which uh, when it's hot out and created pressure in the tank and it pushed the gas all the way up into the carburetor and then down in the intake and then in the oil so you had to change the oil too so anyway, don't ever plug that off. That's going to have to be uh, changed over. And then I just unhooked these here, which are right here. Don't know if we'll hook them back up, but I kind of left it on the engine. So this is kind of factory, uh, except for where the rats ate a few of them. Uh, this line here goes there. And also mark everything or do a video like I am so I can come back and say oh that's where that line went same with the wires uh, you'll always have that one or two wires where you don't know where the hell it goes that's the AC that's the ground for the AC this is the little idle for the AC and the AC kicks on this turns up your idle a little bit so we're gonna then I unhooked the throttle cable here. The transmission cable 
Uh, no, that was the throttle. I got to unhook. No, I don't have to unhook the transmission cable. The engine transmission coming at once. Okay, just like this wire here goes to distributor. Uh, there's a couple of wires eaten by the rats. See this green one here? And the end is right there. This goes to the wiper squirter. Unhook this ground here. You just have to go around and check. Uh, oh, the other thing we got to disconnect underneath there is the linkage for the transmission. Okay, then the alternator. Alternator right there. And then that'll go up. And like I said, underneath the wiper, tape it up by the windshield. And we'll get all these wires out of the way. The starter wires will be under there too. We'll pull everything up. Okay, there should be uh There should be a... A temperature. I thought it was connected. There should be a, a thing like this for the temperature sensor under here. But we'll underneath here. We'll figure that out. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a break for a while. Figure I'd come and show you this so far, and uh, took off all the belts and that. That front pulley, since there was, the bolts are out of it. Okay, I'm going to get something to eat, and then might get back at it, depending on how hot it gets. We're supposed to be having a cold snap and down to 95 from 109. So actually, uh, 95 will feel pretty good. I'll probably come out here a little bit later. And uh, get these motor mounts. And the rest of the little stuff and then we'll jack it up and get underneath of it these hoods here oh nine sixteenths and half inch are okay that's 13 and 14 but the rest of the bolts are all metric little 10 millimeters here well not there but the ones holding the fan shroud in and stuff so this is 78 right about the year they were changing the metric so some cars are half metric, half standard, so. Uh, and the hood, we're not even gonna take the hood off. Going to just take these bolts off on each side and the hood will fold all the way up. I believe it will. And we'll put a piece of carpet or something here and just lay the hood instead of taking it off and manhandle it around, on and off and all that. Okay, so I think that's it for now, guys. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, there's the drive shaft. Came out pretty easy. The stuff. Just undo the four bolts and the brackets. Pull them out. Pry the drive shaft. The screwdriver here. Forward, let it drop, and then just pull it out. Okay. Uh, I'm fixing to cut off this catalytic converter here. I know uh, someone just said they were from California and every car over 1975 has to have a catalytic converter on it. So here you don't have to have nothing. No emissions testing, no, 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 no inspections, no nothing. So it's not going to have that power robbing cat on it. Plus I can get, probably get a hundred bucks for it. Okay, so uh, let me reposition this jack. Got my saws all ready. We'll buzz that off. Be right back. Okay, guys, got the cat cut off. It's pretty damn heavy. Okay, get you under here. That's so where I cut the cat off right here. Now, well, how good you can see it. There are two bolts. Two bolts up there. There and there. And take them off on each side. And then this, uh, whatever you want to call it, Y pipe or. That'll just drop down. 
Probably use that on the 78 Nova if I don't put headers on it and make it a hot rod. Uh, this is the bracket that the catalytic converter was on. We don't need that. That bolts up near the cross member. There's your transmission mount here. Then you got a staggered cross member, and there's two. It's kind of hard to. Two holes right here, and nuts and bolts. So you take them two out on both sides. Jack up the transmission a couple inches with a little jack, and then unbolt these four bolts, and then just slide this cross member out. You kind of twist it so it gets past the rit the lip of the frame, and then uh, get that out of the way. Because your transmission is going to be, when you pull it back, your transmission is going to be almost down to the ground. You're going to, you're coming out cockeyed and the engine. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to get some of that done and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm rolling along. Here's the front Y pipe. Don't try to uh, leave these on and cut it here. This will snag on this on the frame. Uh, you got to take them out. One bolt snapped. I don't know where I put it. One had the little uh, flapper deal on it, but uh, the flapper's gone, so I guess it rusted away or something. That was operates by a vacuum and closes. Uh, so anyway. Yeah, one snapped off, but we're not using the exhaust manifolds anyway. Here it is here. It snapped off. Okay, uh, here were a few things. I'm almost ready to pull it. I just got to uh, pull the starter. There's two bolts on this side of the cross member. I got the other side transmission mount bolts out. Got the linkage disconnected. I don't know if you can see it down there. You can't. Let me see if I can get you in there. That's a linkage there. Speedometer cable hanging. Okay, now we know this was built in Texas, sold in Texas. Uh, problem is, he's got a block heater. It's just one freeze plug. They took out and put in a a block heater. So I don't know. Did this was this guy up north for a while? Uh, might explain why the rear bumper is uh, rusted. Okay, I here's the engine numbers here. Uh, usually you can get them from this code URX. The last three, but don't don't count on it there's also a number at the very back where the transmission hooks up where we'll have to check that for sure we were 99% sure this is the original engine uh, only one site out of about five that shows codes had the URX and they had it as an 86 350 four barrel manual transmission we know that's not this and I've come across that before where they got the wrong year listed so you can't go just by the three last number three last letters so once we pull it we'll get the engine code because we want to check the other one uh, I wanted to check the one in Art's car too the black 77 Malibu because he said he put a 350 in that but we don't know what year that is but we're not really pulling that one. We're pulling the one out of the gold one. And we want to check that back number. And make sure. Uh, see what year it is. And cubic inch and all that. So anyway guys. I'll be back in a little bit. Yeah it's right behind the alternator. So you got to kind of pull the, pull the alternator out of the way to see it. See. I cleaned it all up. But it's not accurate. Okay, uh, motor mounts, two cross member mounts, 
and the starter and we'll uh, uh, we'll unhook the hinges pull it back and we'll uh get the hoist over here and get her ready to to lift up okay i'll be back okay guys she's ready to pull like i showed you before here's all the uh we need to put that underneath the wiper too okay all the wires up there out of the way so nothing gets bound up uh you just all you got to do is look between the firewall and the engine see if anything's there got the two motor mounts out bolts out yeah it's all metric guys 18 and 16 two of them they slide right out uh take them out before you put any pressure on it once you put pressure on it they're going to be really tight you know you'll sit there with a hammer and a screwdriver trying to punch it through okay so once that's all out all them bolts are out then you take the cross member off which is right here uh that's a transmission mount that's a big old there's actually one bolt missing i don't know if it just shook loose or i don't know but this is the brace for the uh catalytic converter and that don't really really look factory there so i don't know what was going on anyway that's not going back on anyway that'll just go like that but there was one bolt missing this that goes under actually goes goes like that okay and then this was on top anyway uh got that out got the old starter out that's no good that'll go in the shit pile this is, you know it used to spin or probably save the solenoid or something okay so i think that's it oh i forgot to unloosen the uh i'm gonna loosen them up lay the hood down probably use a little bungee cord strap it so it doesn't wind doesn't catch it and then that's it now most people some people would take the distributor out so they don't break it but i haven't broke one yet you just got to be careful you can't just be a rip it out of there type person just be very very methodical uh where the motor mount bolts are right here probably see it better here you just got to lift it up here lift it up that high and then move it forward once it's forward past the motor mounts then you gotta tilt it tilt the motor like this let the jack see i got the jack on the transmission got that under there with a piece of wood okay let the jack off uh And then that's why you got to bring it out. You got to have it tilted like this and bring it out like this. So I get my uh, hoist over here and wheel it around. Uh, find my. I got a little leveler thing, but I'll find that. It should be around somewhere. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, guys forgot yeah you get a jacket down so jack it down on the ground and then uh, position your transmission jack so it's kind of level so it's not so if you let the transmission loose it's going to go all the way down tilted like this and bust the distributor so you want to get some tension on it first before you can get that jack out of there okay I cut the rest of the exhaust off this was wrapped around the uh well the other end here wraps around the rear end so i just cut that off so it wouldn't drag because once we pull this engine up and it's clear of the header then we're just going to push the car backwards and then we'll swing the hoist around and i'll move this stuff out of the way and drop the engine here okay so got the hoist ready how oh, i put the hood up and just kind of strapped it just kind of strapped it to the spare tire here so the wind don't catch it it's a little windy today not bad though 
Okay, so uh, I would recommend you get one of these levelers. I don't know how much they are. It's been years since I bought this one or I got or acquired it somehow. But uh, what you want to hook, you want to hook it up diagonally. So one to the front, one to the back, or vice versa. One back here, one up there. So this one I just wrapped it around the AC power steering bracket. Should be all right. And then this one I hooked just to the uh, exhaust manifold bolt. You can't see it down there. So it's going to pick it up even. And this leveler, as you pick it up, you'll see which way it's going to tilt. And you just do this and it'll tilt it more that way or more that way. So there's a little bit of screwing around. You know, get, jacking it up and then letting it down doing this doing that a few times so I'm not gonna film a you know however long it takes to get that out of there but you just be slow get it up over the motor mounts get it forward a little bit take off the jack from the transmission and then uh, make sure you got it on the right tilt because see your tail shaft your transmission is gonna want to hit this so you got to clear that nice uh, instead of butchering it up and having a transmission hit and dent and all that that and this this is going to be close to the harmonic balancer tail shaft transmission is going to be close to the firewall so you got to get it on the perfect angle and then you can then you can lift it straight up okay uh, if it's too long uh, you can you can pull the hoist back a few inches or push the car back a few inches either way there's a lot of little screwing around get it nice and even don't like i said don't try to butcher it out of there and just yank it out you'll end up the firewall you'll end up bending this bust cracking the fiberglass thing and all that stuff just be very slow methodical and uh it'll come right out of there so let me come back when i get her up in the air Okay, guys, I just had to reposition it once, jacked it up, and I needed this end to come up before this end, or evenly, more evenly, so I just had to pull this in, okay? As you can see, it cleared the motor mount there, clears the motor mount there, and then it pulled it off the uh, transmission jack there. So... All we got to do, we can either roll the car back or manhandle the hoist and pull the hoist forward. Let me see if I can do it well. It'll take a little bit. Uh, yeah, and this is the point here. Recheck everything. Make sure you got everything disconnected. Nothing's jamming up. Okay, so we're going to pull this forward a little bit. And, uh, start jacking it wind up to reposition to get it more of an angle here later on I'll be back okay guys I got it up and forward yeah I forgot put a piece of I got a little thin piece of plywood here against the condenser so it doesn't damage that so the harmonic balancer doesn't damage it okay so we got her she's loose I push the car back, but it's wanting to go forward, so I keep using a piece of wood. So I'm kind of jacking it and pushing the car. This is when, a, if you have a buddy to help you, it would come in a lot easier. And plus, this thing is twisted just a bit. We really want the engine about like that, but that's okay. It's not going to hit nothing here. Sometimes you'll have a tight fit. If you have a buddy, you have your buddy hold the engine straight like that. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to turn this down so it'll tilt it down. And we want to see how the transmission's almost hitting the firewall there. We want to avoid that. want to tilt the transmission down and pull this up by using this. So let me get it tilted and up in the air. I'll be back. Okay, guys, it's almost ready to come out. Two screw-ups. I forgot to tie these transmission lines. These go into the radiator. 
and uh, they got caught down in here. They didn't uh, bust through the condenser, but they bent it all. But that's all right. We're not re using these. I was going to remember to do this on the on the uh, gold one. So we get, you got to tie them up out of the way so they're not loose. And the shifter cable, I pulled it out. It comes clips in here and and snags in here. Well, as I was pulling it, for some reason, the thing came back down in there. So it stretched the shit out of it. And I'm hoping it's not a... Uh, You. pulled it all hopefully I can push it back push that back up there but anyway might be all right at least it didn't snap okay so uh it's gonna come up a little bit farther forward and you can try to level that out a little bit or just pull it all the way up so that transmission clears this and then uh roll the car back so I'll be back in a minute okay guys there it is that's as high as the hoist went so I had to lift this bottom of the transmission up like that and push the car backwards lean into it at the same time so it wouldn't catch the header and uh Hope that it didn't roll into the avalanche which it didn't it just rolled it rolled this far okay didn't make as much as a mess as i thought uh had the pan underneath the back because as you tilt it the fluid's going to come out so you can see all the rat shit and stuff here we'll probably blow this off a little bit put some plastic around the carburetor we're not going to be using this motor for anything, I don't think. Uh, we'll just clean it up a little bit. And then uh, pull it over here. I do have, I don't know if I used them all, uh, little furniture movers. Pieces of wood with some uh, casters on it. Uh, if I got some, I'm going to put them on here, two of them. That way you can just kind of roll it. We just want it out of the way for now, but it's easier with the casters on there, even if it doesn't roll very good. Okay, so we're gonna get that out of the way and then uh, bring the pressure washer over here. Get this out of the way. And we're gonna start cleaning all this up. I'm probably gonna use a scraper, start scraping that stuff off. But anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay guys, here's a correct number here. 460778. It comes out to 1978 or 79 305. Two bolt main. That comes in a car or a truck. So there you go. Original engine. Okay. Uh, I scraped that off. I don't know what I did with my scraper. I just went into anyway i'm gonna scrape off all this grease in here and uh i'll be back okay i got a scraper here i'm going to just do this to all the grease this is i don't know how old is this car now 40 45 years old uh it's 45 years worth of crap on here and plus all this mice stuff so we're going to scrape off as much as we can and then uh power wash it all okay so i'll be back okay guys there's the engine sitting on one of those furniture mover things uh okay so this is all the it was clean under there that's all the stuff i just scraped off using a scraper uh fixing to power wash it uh probably power wash it for a little while then do more scraping and then probably take some 80 grit get all of this surface rust stuff off spray it again um 
and then uh, uh, eventually we're going to pour 15 all this and probably put some paint on the firewall and probably these fenders down we'll just paint everything black okay now the car still haven't decided yet whether it's going black or white but even if it goes white it's going to be from here down black well maybe from here down black we'll paint this white okay so that's the plan let me get the uh power washer over here and uh we'll clean this up real good i wanted to mention this is a vast improvement over the el camino had the uh big problem with the el camino with the three big vents this doesn't have the two over there it's just the one here and if you can tell it's kind of like a it's full of leaves in there because of this grill. I don't know if I can get one of them new grills. But uh, it's got sides and stuff to it. So I bet you this does not leak in the carpet. We'll find out. But I bet it doesn't. I bet they fixed that. And they got all the blower motor and everything outside. Whereas the older ones, they were all on the inside. And this would get all water and stuff in it. Okay, yeah, I see all this crap here. We're just gonna power wash the hell out of it. See what it looks like. Get all this dirt, daubers and stuff out of there. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't know if I did this. I doubt it, but I must have. Anyway, we got to fix that up with a little piece of fiberglass. I pride myself in not smashing the fire, the AC fiberglass stuff, but I don't know how it happened. I don't. It's kind of why you need two people really to do it. One one guy just to guide it, so that stuff like that don't happen. But anyway, yeah, we need to get rid of uh, 45 years worth of grime and. My shit. Okay, guys, I'm going to do the rest of it here off camera. I don't want to get the camera lens all wet. Uh, Master Cylinder has not got here yet. It's been like over a week. Uh, it says it's not even shipped yet, so who knows? Maybe the guy's out of stock and I'll get a refund, but I really want a new one. Okay, uh... Let me clean all this up and I'll be back. Okay guys, it's starting to get dark out. Got quite a bit of it. Uh, I want to go over it a couple more times. I haven't used any soap on it yet. I'll spray some soap when I get as much scraped off as I can. But uh, yeah, it's getting there. 
We're mainly concentrating on getting this area black. Uh, some poor 15 on it and on the frame and everything. Uh, the other underneath and stuff like that. I can do that later. Uh, but yeah, I've been spraying under there too. It's a lot came off. A lot came off. Okay, but then I forgot. We got to do the cross member too. You do the cross member and the uh, radiator. See all the dirt dauber stuff in there too. Gonna clean all that up. Uh, but yeah, as long as we get the majority of it, the little stuff we can do after the engine's in. But whatever the engine's gonna cover, I want to get that painted. And then we forgot this. This is the little steel cover that covers the uh, starter wires. These go to the starter. Yeah, I forgot to scrape that. So we got to do that too. But I think I'm going to end the video on this, guys. Because it's getting kind of long. It's supposed to just be step by step pulling an engine. I know there wasn't much action video. But what we'll do next video is we'll pull the engine out of the gold 77 Malibu. And I'll... Uh, do the fast motion on it or something I won't go over all the details like I did on this one so it won't be a repeat I'll do a fast motion of getting the engine out uh, and we'll finish cleaning all this stuff up painting it black uh, and we'll go over the other engine we'll die uh, check the engine codes check the engine codes on it and uh, see what make sure what year it is stuff like that also i think we're going to take that thing for a ride uh i'll stick a plate on it we'll zip it down the road like we did the uh red el camino make sure the transmission shifts and all the gears stuff like that i know the car's gonna ride like shit the idler arm's about to fall out on it uh but we'll get just test out the motor transmission for a little bit a couple a mile or two come back and we'll pull it right in here and we'll tear it down just like we did this one and this one we're just going to push it back probably to where the avalanche is push it back pull the gold malibu in wash rinse repeat with the engine we'll get it all out compare them to compare it to this engine as far as vacuum lines uh, stuff like that. I don't think anything's really going to be too much too different on it and a lot of this stuff we can just delete vacuum and stuff like that uh, and Then we'll tear down the uh, Exhaust manifolds on it because we're going to put headers uh, Just stuff like that. So we'll do all that next video guys uh, Okay, well, it's rolling along dirty greasy and wet and everything else but she's rolling along a few more episodes we'll have it in there and uh and running i'll probably order some more stuff from ebay i think i'll get that x pipe exhaust and a couple of man those mufflers sound great on the chevelle and the aspen but i can't remember what the name of them is i'll have to go back a year or two on my ebay uh stuff i bought and see what those mufflers were because they sound great i think they were one chamber might have been two chamber turbo something anyway you can order a bunch of that stuff so then after the engine's in we'll get the headers on the exhaust going and uh man she's gonna she's gonna be nice she's gonna be a lot more powerful and uh sounding mean I think I'm going to come out the exhaust coming out the coming out here instead of you know looping tailpipes and stuff some of the cars I have them just dumped at the rear end but I think these would look good kind of coming out the before the back the back tire anyway I don't want to ramble too much but that's what's coming up guys so stick around stay with me we'll get this thing restored just uh, so much stuff. Got the seat covers coming in. Got the uh, floor pans. 
Yeah, the front floor pans are a little rusty, but I think we're gonna fix them with, uh, well, we'll go over it when the time comes. That'll be some more videos. We got the floors repaired. Just tons of stuff to do on this, guys, but I'm, I'm excited to work on it. And uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next video. Nikki, Nikki, you ready to go for a walk? Nikki, ready to go for a walk? You ready to go for a walk, girl? How you doing? Nikki's such a good girl. You ready to go for a walk? You ready to go for a walk? You're such a good little old girl. You wanna say hi to everybody? You wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi. Say hi to everybody. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. We'll go for a walk here a little bit, right? We'll go for a walk. We'll go for a walk. You're such a good girl.